Hey everybody, Mark Lewis Wagner here. Uh, if you've been watching any of these videos that I've shot so far, you will have noticed that I'm missing a big white beard that I had. And uh, so times are changing. This is um, summer of 2020. And I'm introducing my, uh, I have a summer school painting class gonna happen. And I wanted to go through the materials and the projects in case you might wanna follow along. So here we are at my studio hanging out here it's a big old space um, I've shot some of the other videos in this but I wanted to go through the materials and the material list to give you an idea of what's happening and um, so what's happening on I'll just go through I have a whole line of material and then the projects so materials are um, in the beginning um, you need something to paint on so I have boards here. I either paint on a composite board or some masonite. Um, masonite comes in these big sheets. So it's a big sheet like at Home Depot and I cut them up in pieces. It's a little harder if you don't have the great tools for that. But I, uh, with my students, I would then paint, cut up a whole bunch of these and then you know, we would use those for class. So that's what you'll see here when I show you stuff. And the shiny stuff, then you have to take sandpaper and you, you want to buff the edges, you get the edges down, and then the shiny part. So that, that has to be treated first. And uh, so and you can paint on anything, right? You can paint, paint on paper, um, the canvas boards that the, that's at the art departments. Um, and it needs to be sealed with paint. So let's see, then brushes are a whole variety of brushes that I have will move over here to brushes. Brushes are either a set from, from uh, Michaels or uh, Blick Art is where most of my stuff happens. There are some brushes in here that are crap, like this one, but something like that that's got an angle on it, which is great. Some of these larger flat ones are great, and then of course some of the smaller ones. So what you're gonna have is you're gonna have square edges and then round edges, so they, they both uh, do different things on your painting. So a round edge, you know, you can actually get in and, and get in on corners and things, whereas um, flat ones are more for blocking in things. And then, you know, bigger brushes too. To, and I go through these a lot. Or, you know, you could get a set like that. So uh, paints then are, um, variety of paints, the, I just started using these Goldens recently. They're more expensive. Um, these I just got the recently I just learned that true primaries I thought primaries I just taught a color class I thought primaries were red yellow and blue but the truth is that primaries are cyan magenta and yellow so that's that's the three basic colors that you really need and a lot of these color sets don't, don't really have a magenta and so you get these reds that aren't really reds, and it, it makes everything complicated. Uh, but for beginning art, it doesn't quite much matter. Um, so acrylics, we're going to talk about acrylics and oils. Um, for, for, acry for acrylics, you know, you need something. You're always going to have water, especially in the summer. And if your paintbrush isn't being used, it lives in the water. Scissors, kneaded eraser. These are great. You can do a lot of stuff with this. It doesn't, when you erase, it doesn't um, let stuff lay around on your paper. Um, smudge sticks are great for drawing. On, on, uh, they, they help you get uh, all these subtle values. Pencils, I always go with a 4H. Anything other than that is a waste of time. Um, those mechanical pencils, I tell you to toss them and any, any Bs or Hs, I, I make sure they also get tossed. This will give you, you can get a light line and you can get a nice heavy line. And you need a pencil sharpener. Palette knives, this is where you're gonna be mixing your paints with a palette knife. So you need, the. they have plastic ones that are that are, do not work well. The best ones are kind of some type of a metal. Uh, this is my favorite pen in the world. I've used a lot of pens, this is my favorite pen. And then a pencil, I've gone through a lot of white pencils. This is the best white pencil that I like. So um, white pencils are gonna give you light, light lines and this one holds up pretty well. Nice pencil. They also come with a colored set. Um, 
Sharpies, these are the acrylic markers that are also really fun. They come in a different, kind of a bunch of different colors for sure, I have a whole stash of them. And they're paint, they're paint markers, which is great. Um, in our project, you also need um, magazines for a project. Um, and particularly, we're looking for white text. So we do a whole white text project, which I'll show you in a moment. And um, this is a great gold. This is a killer gold. It's, it's, it's 24 karat. That's an amazing gold. One of the best. Tapes. This is duct. No, sorry. This is gaffer's tape. It got out in the water a little bit, but this, this is the best tape for projects. It's a little more expensive, but it's really... The duct tape turns into this gluey stuff and has fiber in it and it's yucky. And this gaffer's tape is what you want to get. And I have it in pinks and reds and greens. Uh, blue tape for sure, use it a lot. Um, paint so that then, there, I've got gesso, but I don't really use that as much. That's a, a thing that you mostly put on the beginning of un unprimed canvas. I use it just for white. And then this is what I use a lot. So this matte medium, the Liquitex. So this is, I've tried a lot of different matte mediums and this is my favorite. And it's a glue, it's a collage, it's seal stuff for acrylic paints. It's what you use to glaze things, make it more transparent. And then it's super helpful to have gallons of paint around. So by having something that's not white, a gray, then I could, I could prime my boards. This is not that but then I can get a middle tone. So instead of going white, you start off with a middle tone and then you can go lighter and darker. So then um, sandpaper, razor blades. This is my favorite tool of all tools. This is a box cutter. It folds up. You can swap out the blade to get a sharp from one side to the other. And the moment it's dull or used, you just toss it and put another one in. So it's it's, hundred times better than a pocket knife. Um, I basically carry one of these in my pocket all the time. Um, coverings to cover paint in the summertime, like if you have extra acrylics, you can put some of that in saran wrap, seal it up so it's out of the air, put it in the refrigerator. You could put a, a palette in a freezer. Uh, oil paint, so here's an oil palette. So this is the one I've been using for 20 years. So these are, these are the colors that I use. So I have a set of colors that I can kind of get everything from. So that's, I've kind of gotten my colors down. And um, then palettes, I've got a, if I need to, a wax paper palette, and then tracing paper. So tracing paper is also something you use it all the time. So if we are oil painting, then oil paints are, um, you know, I've got a whole stash of my oil paints. Some of this is even from my mom. And um, you need to have uh, something that's going to help your oil paints dry. Because if you painted with straight red, this thing would be wet for, for months. Uh, Van Gogh paintings are still wet hanging in the museums. So you have to have some type of a dryer for your, for your, and then this is great to glaze with. So that's my favorite. I heard that it's a little toxic. I haven't researched it yet. This is new. I haven't tried it. And then somebody turned me on to this that they also said is really good. Um, and I haven't tried it. So oil paints, then you're going to need some type of a turpentine to brush, clean your brushes. And I use two jars. So one jar has the turpentine that was has paint in it. And then it settles just even overnight. And I would pour that back into an empty jar and then work on that. And once this gets dirty or done with painting, then I dump that back into that and let that sit. But you want to have a, a cover on it because it smells a little bit. Um, tools over here. This is my main tool is a, a drill, hammer drill. Uh, I use hot glue guns a lot. Hair dryers for acrylics in the summertime, I mean in the wintertime, if you need to dry stuff quick. You know, acrylic paints, lots of different brushes for stuff. I just have stashes of things around. And uh, uh, an orbital sander. So those are my art supplies. And now I'm going to do another video on this project set.